Hello, I'm Adrian, and in a previous video, I introduced the concept of open string scales. How you can take a normal scale, a major, minor scale, or in fact, any kind of scale you like, replace some of the notes in that scale with open strings, and you create this cool kind of chiming, cascading sound. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to show you three of my favorite licks using that kind of a concept. Um, if you want more in the way of theory and explanation, then you might want to check out the previous video. But for this video, I'm just going to be showing you the, uh, the licks. Lick number one then works over a C chord uh, taken from that C major open string scale that I showed you in the previous lesson. And the, the lick itself goes like this. We've got... So it's a nice little ascending lick. Works really well as an ending lick, this one. If you're playing a, a song in the key of C... So it's a really cool little lick. Let me take you through what, what's going on there. We're starting with um, our C note here, eighth note on the, the low E string. We've got C followed by an open D string. Then I'm hammering on from E to F on the A string. Got an open G string. Then I've got a fretted A note here, uh, seventh fret on the D string followed by an open B string. Uh, then I'm sliding from 5 to 7, from C to D on the G string. Um, I'm falling into this little chord shape, which is kind of based on a, a G7 chord, I think. I'm just sliding in, into the D note at the 7th fret on the G string. Then I'm playing F on the B string and the B on the top string. Uh, I'm just ending with a little uh, kind of pedal steel bend, which is... Um, so I'm, I'm bending the, the D note, 7th fret on, on the G string, bending the, the D up to an E. At the same time, I'm just holding down the 8th fret on the top two strings. So bending up, bending up into a C chord sound, bend, bending the, the ninth up to the 3rd, to the or the 2nd uh, the, the up to the 3rd. So that, that's the entire lick. If I just put that together slowly, we've got... Um, Next lick then is taken from the G major open string scale. Works over a G chord. There's the lick, so let me just briefly take you through through that. We've got um, pulling off from G to F sharp on the B string. Then I'm playing the top string. Uh, I'm pl plucking that with the middle finger of my left hand. Um, incidentally, as I explained in the previous video, all of the open strings in these licks, I'm usually playing with the middle finger of my picking hand. The rest of it, I'm playing with the pick. That's kind of how you get that nice country sort of chicken picking sound. Um, you could pick all of the notes, but it would just be a, be a different kind of a feeling for these, these licks, I think. So um, um, let, let's continue with this lick. Um, as I said, we've got G to F, G pulled off to F sharp. Um, plucking the open top string. Uh, then I'm pulling off from D to C. And got an open B string. Uh, then I'm repeating that move, so pulling off from D to C and the open B string one more time. Uh, then I've got a, a fretted A note and an open G. Uh, then I'm hammering on from E to F sharp on the A string and following that by an open G. Uh, then I've got a fretted A, again, 7th fret on the D string, followed by an open B string. And then the final part of the lick is a little sliding 6th idea. So I'm sliding into the 7th fret on the G string, 
and then playing the seventh fret on the top string. Sliding the same shape down to the fifth fret. And then I'm sliding from three to four on the G string. And finishing with this G note here, the third fret on the top string. Um, uh, if I'm going a little bit too quickly in this video, do check out my website. Uh, where I'll write out the full music and tab for all of these licks. I'll just put a link to that underneath this, this video. So that's our G major scale lick. Let me just put that together nice and slowly for you. We've got... Um... faster okay on to our final lick then and this one is based on our A mixolydian open string scale and uh, works over an A chord or, or an A7 chord it goes something like this we've got Let me take you through what's going on there. Um, we're, we're starting up at the, the 8th fret on the B string, pulling off from G to F sharp. Then we've got our first open string, um, open top string, again plucking that with my middle finger. So uh, I'm picking and pulling off. Then I've got the open string. And I've got a similar idea kind of transferred down to the next pair of strings. So I'm pulling off from D to C sharp on the G string and got an open B. Uh, then I've got a fretted A followed by an open G. Uh, then I'm onto the A string pulling off from F sharp to E. Got an open D string. Uh, then I've got a hammer on from the 8th fret to the 9th fret on the low E string, that's from C to C sharp. It's kind of minor third to major third thing there. Uh, then I'm skipping over to the, the A note at the 7th fret on the D string. And then I'm pulling off from 9 to 7 on the A string. And finally just sliding up with my index finger to the A note at the 12th fret. So if I put that together nice and slowly for you, we've got this. Well, there we go. I hope you enjoy playing these licks. And I hope that maybe you're going to feel inspired to have a play around with this concept and maybe come up with some original ideas of your own. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this and want more of this kind of thing, do check out the other videos on my channel. Maybe check out my website as well. Uh, take care and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.